Wolf back. Welcome back to another quad spectating video where we're witnessing a uh, nice little cluster going on at Storage Town right now. Of course, they're holding hands. Why wouldn't they be? Uh, your boy coming in from the ghoulie instantly dying. He didn't last long at all. That was the guy that killed me. Well, green needs to come by us and help us at least cover us while we're going for the res very surprised the enemy team's not pushing lack of teamwork from them although it seems like they're in another fight as well could possibly be three squads in this area look i am not a fan of the strategy of holding hands but that's just how this meta has been lately so you have to adapt and that's exactly what uh what they're doing they're adapting not a huge fan of it but it is what it is not really sure what we're doing to be honest good shots from egghead all in let's go brother good little shots a little b-hop action too to keep his body moving yo what are you hiding for homie don't hide go help your bro out i feel like he's baiting his teammate you gotta pop that reload you gotta pop that reload gotta pop that reload all right green's holding the rooftop trying to suppress the enemy we're in a bad spot right here green what are you doing green you gonna help out at all there we go this is a really weird team fight i'm gonna be honest they're doing the best to their ability but i really think they gotta do better working together once again green holding the roof allowing the second enemy to push up and get two knocks and they're out now that whole team fight was a cluster from all the squads everyone's kind of playing separate it's weird because barry literally was holding the rooftop he had an angle on the two people that are on the other side of the building from us but he was looking a whole nother direction for some reason. He wasn't in a fight. He wasn't shooting an enemy. He was just chilling. The first time the enemy pushed up, got a knock on our homie. While we're resin again, another enemy pushed. TTV Barry wasn't there to help us out. And he got knocked again. And then the third time, of course, you all saw it. Um, it happened again. So I really liked the position he had, but he didn't utilize it at all to his advantage. I want to see a gulag where it's just a giant box it's nothing in the middle just you spawn in and you shoot this whole hide and cat and mouse bullshit is so stale all right but again because of lack of teamwork from the squad again they were holding hands they were together so they adapted correctly but they didn't work together so holding hands didn't really help them out again i'm not a fan of it i don't i hate the fact that we've been telling you guys to hold hands and play together like that but it's just what the meta has brought in with the NZ being so fucking powerful, people have just changed their gameplay. They don't want to move out of buildings. They don't want to push separately because they'll get picked. And this is unfortunately what it is now. Um, but again, dude, they got to work on their teamwork big time. Lack of pings. I'm assuming lack of audio comms. That was just really unfortunate. Um, I, I really think Barry kind of screwed the pooch on that one. He should have had that angle covered big time. Yeah, Gulag should be pistols only. I agree. I wouldn't be mad at that at all. All right, right now i'd probably i'd go buy back my team to be honest
So the entire team right now should definitely come land on us to buy, or at least, oh my God. That's, a kill. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Really no tips for that one, but he should just ran back in the building. But again, the midst fight when you're getting shocked like that, surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, just, I, I'm not really gonna slam on that one. I feel it. You bought back two teammates. They were there again. I think our team should have landed on the buy, so we could have bought our teammate back, our last teammate. Um, but purple decided they're gonna go for the Lodi instead at Storage Town by himself, um, which clearly there's another team here. So now here we are spectating Egghead once again. Um, he seemed to be a pretty decent player. Going for yet another scav. The whole point of a regain is try to, again, regain in one swift movement. It's hard to regain in the first place, but if you make it harder on yourself, you can really throw the game. So the first regain again, dude, we should have just bought back all of our teammates, even with your boy dying to that one guy that came up on us. If the two guys were laying up there, they could have bought back together and we'd have a full squad um but they didn't and egghead again instead of just focusing up on the scav and just avoiding contact with enemies and even if he got shot at avoiding confrontation just again going for the fucking regain he could have had a chance but he decided to ego chow in a fight i don't think he should have even if he would have won that gunfight dude there's two teams there bro that's just wild but here we are so this is our third regain attempt I don't really recommend a, a most wanted bounty. Most wanted in Verdance was highly possible because of the skyscrapers um, and just driving vehicles around with all of the terrain of it. It was hard for people to shoot you. You were driving around the top of military and of course the west side of the map over there by Boneyard and stuff. It was easy to regain, but this map here, good fucking luck. It's like, I get you want your Lodi. I really do. But again, regain for a reason, bro. Y'all can always make your way to the Lodi. You can always just buy a Lodi by looting around here. There's a lot of shit that's untouched. You'll see it in our gameplay. Sometimes we'll full send for it. But if it's like, if I'm in a solo position, dude, having to buy back three teammates, we're going to land somewhere safe to get everybody back and then regain. Drop your money on the buy, have your homie land on it. There you go. All right, dope. Have your homie land on it, then you can buy a, an, another dude back. Regain's not difficult-ish. Really depends on the area of the map and where people are at. But again, I think a lot of players just make it harder on themselves than it's worth. All we need is $300. There's a bunch of tents over here to our southeast. We should go loot. Looks like that's exactly where Gravy's going. Just get 300 bucks, get your fourth back, and then start figuring out what the fuck you're going to do. Voila, look at that, baby. Now we're on. Oh my god, your teammate bought plates, you fucking cuck. Who the fuck just bought plates? All right, now we're good. Anyone buys a precision? I'm coming through this monitor and i'm slapping the fuck out of everybody and look again too this is our third regain attempt should we have regained successfully the first time we'd already have a Lodi by now the savage only has six thousand dollars yeah but they had a lot more money too if they would have regained in the first place Now, as far as this position here, we're going to have some people come from power plant for sure. We're going to have people coming from fields for sure. You see the helicopter getting chalked. So someone just bailed out probably ATC or white building, I would imagine. So there's going to be people here. So we got to do things quickly and efficiently. It's going to be a little bit before we get our load out or free load out, I should say. So I do not mind looting these tents. There's a lot of fucking money here. People always sleep on. As you can see, we're already at our loady. Let's go, baby. We got buy station, another plane chalked, probably going to that top of that building. Be careful. Not really a huge fan of this. Gonna be dangerous. Gonna be people there. I'd go right back to the buy station across the airfield and just chill. Oh, 
caught a solo out in that position. They got lucky that it was one player. Good shit. Now we're just picking fights with everybody. Again, dude, loading needs to be a priority right now. I get y'all want to fight. I, I understand it, but y'all just regained. It's time to get our loady. Wait, did he just fuck? Did he find a loading marker? No shot. Bro, I think he found. I think he found a loading marker. Dude, if he did, he's lucky. They're the luckiest team in the world. No, they did not. What'd we say? What'd we say? Get your teammates back. Get your loady. Move on. You're fighting against enemies of equal player skill most of the time, or better, most of the time, and you don't have loady weapons. That team, I don't think. I don't think this team is bad by any stretch of imagination. But they're putting themselves in a worse position by fighting with ground loot when they're sitting on fourteen thousand dollars, and then there they go. Three regain attempts. They finally regained. They had the money for the loady, but they decided to fight people instead of just getting back in the car, driving back to the buy station across the airfield that they were already at that they knew was safe. And now they're out. Now, now they're out of the game back to the lobby. Again, dude, just making simple decisions, simple and quick decisions could change the entire flow of the match. The fact they had three chances to fucking regain in the first place was extremely lucky, extremely blessed. Um, but then they threw that too wild just because there's enemies near you doesn't mean you have to fight especially if you have a getaway car yeah absolutely wild again i don't think they're a bad team i just think decision making needs some work in that situation um the first guy i can't remember what it was one of the ttv years he definitely got a little hungry for the kills i'm right, moving on to optimus prime eight eight seven and ten so we're rocking a decent amount of kills the 33 kills of the squad so far with 40 up this lobby is not a demon lobby either there's some good players in it but there's still 40 players alive this is gonna be these guys can still feast they could drop they could drop over 80 kills of the squad Yeah, he definitely needs to drink that sneak. That's a fact, bro. Setting a rally point. Never mind. Actually, now that I got more time to try that new flavor, I might give it a 7 out of 10. A new mango flavor. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's a lot more potent. You're getting a shot at my guy. Bail. Bail. But look at rapid killer again just simple shit he's getting shot at he's plating he's moving away from the enemies but as he's rotating away he's still turning around and keeping an eye on what's going on around him you guys got to develop some kind of movement to where you can observe where enemies are at you can observe and look for tracers you can look for the enemy's movement while you're again repositioning A great job of the squad working together. This is why they're not getting picked off one at a time. Every team fight we've seen so far has been a squad team fight, team versus team. No one's got picked off except for the solo that was coming in from uh what is this? Power plant area? This one right here? Um that was the only solo. It was just because his team died. Other than that, dude, it's been a fair 4v4 the entire time. Oh yeah, and the helicopter boy, he got fucked up. To go and restock. Rocking some ghosts. We've got to get to the safe zone. Meet 
I don't know. Most of the time, teams don't do this, so I don't know if this team did it or not, but there's no sense rocking ghosts if your entire team isn't ghosted. So if any of these guys are rocking restock, any of these guys are rocking, you know, high alert, whatever the case is, don't run ghosts because your team's just going to rat you out anyway. Also, to be real, too, these guys are pretty aggressive, it seems like. They're going to be shooting a lot. I don't even think ghost is necessary. I'd rather restock or high alert. I don't think ghost is that good of a perk anymore, to be honest. Unless you just like hiding. I just really don't see the benefit in ghost. I want players to know where I'm at, dude. It's more kills. You don't have to go hunting as much. There's a guy closer on the ridge down below. He sees it on mini-map, adjusts. Good observation, snapping back and forth. We're in kind of a bad spot. We don't have much cover and concealment from the rooftop of that building, and we don't know what's to our right-hand side either. I think we might be overextending a little bit, but again, that's just because I don't know what's here. The fact that Orange didn't get shot, I'm assuming they're safe. NZ, 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 fix the meta! Never mind. Vomit looking at all the NZs. Not hating on the players for using it, but fuck, they're kind of forced to. Meta sucks. But boring. Look at, look at that. Look at this. What are you doing? What? Hey, yo. Yo, what are you doing? This is literally the exact same ending we had in our solos gameplay we spectated today. Literally the exact same ending. Wow. I feel like that's how it is with most endings today. Uh, recently, in this last update, I feel like most of the endings are basically the same. Maybe I've just been playing for too long, but it seems like we always have the same endings. We do have enough for a combined Yui. Don't know if we have a buy station. Nope, not worth. Not worth. I love this too. He's like, let me deploy a buy station right next to another buy station. Fucking genius. So that team up there is not going to be a difficult challenge. Now, looking at the zone, dude, Storage Town teams are definitely going to be in the worst positions, for sure. They have three little ridges they can play, but it's a very short time they can play them. We're kind of in the same boat. We don't have much. There's some rocks, there's some trees out here, and there's a building. But we're going to have to start pushing over as well. I don't mind the slow gameplay. Again, you don't want to overextend and end up getting in the midst of, like, a third and fourth party. So I'm down with a little bit slower play. Um, but these guys over here, they're fucked regardless. They're, they're not going to be able to do anything. Just because that open street and the fact they got a parachute, they are going to get fried. Yeah, buying a gas wouldn't have been a bad idea, but the fact that his team was already pushed up to the building, that's why I didn't mention it. It's because by the time they came back to give us their money, it just I think it would have been a waste of time. that bouncing bro there's another one too they're everywhere fuck yo how many did you have ttv rapid killer well it wasn't rapid killer i don't know who the hell it was stats to him that dude had 400 fucking pounds and bettys laying around there but again look at the rough position they worked themselves into they moved to the center zone they ended up getting picked by the cluster strike and different teams in different buildings just slow it down Relax a little bit. Play the edge. You got a lot of kills. You're on momentum. And you're going for the, the... You're getting kill hungry. I know. You're trying to hit those 20s. I get it. Been there. I've thrown a lot of games like that. Just slow it down. 
and play this position. There are too many teams for this smaller circle with these fucking soft ass, mushy ass buildings you can shoot right through. You see him coming down the hill. Perfect. Look at the parachute. Another guy on the right hand side by the rock. bit of movement from the enemies this actually might be a better lobby than i gave it credit for i didn't see that glenn i'm gonna be honest just burn it bro just burn it Orange is looking a little wild going out to the far left, getting an execute. Maybe another enemy over there, too. Yep. A little misdirection. Good shit. Enemy jumping back in. The gas mask might. Wait, how come he didn't have to do the gas mask animation off, bro? I always got to take mine off. That shit gets me killed all the time. Someone help me out. How the fuck come he didn't have to do that shit? My guy always does. Again, in a bad spot. Just move. Rotate out of here, bro. It's a 4v4 fight. The other team does not seem body. Again, we saw the movement from the guy going to the buy station, but this team is not body either. We have the high ground. We have a decent vantage point. The only downfall is they are already safe in the next zone. We all have one building, but I would rather this spot for sure. We've got to get a few picks of the people rotating in. Oh no, we are. We got enough for buyback. We got enough for buyback. We got enough for buy, baby. Focus up. Get your homie back, bro. This team might throw too, though. Oh, no. It's a 1v2 situation. We're being fucked up right now. His homie's coming in from the right-hand side. Doesn't matter. We get knocked. That's all she wrote. Wow. Jesus Christ. I'll be honest. I'm pretty shocked that the enemies rotated in and pushed us and closed that gap. They had the position, but they said we got a knock and they pushed it. So good shit on them. Um, the moment our teammate got knocked again, dude, just instantly go back to the bye. And get your teammate back and let him float in the air because from the sky he can call them out and mark them and let you know where they're coming from it's basically as long as he's live being there's free wall hacks essentially um that team did a really good job pushing in and just going through that squad that team was really good uh, i'm actually surprised they lost i'm gonna be honest that was unfortunate man that was a good fight really good fight again they left good positioning to force and end the game quickly um, but with that pick, making it a 4v3, why not, right? Why not? Again, I think a, a couple times that game, they definitely should have... Uh, two of the teams we spectated definitely should have had better teamwork going on. Especially that first team. That first team really screwed the pooch with the 3 regain fail. Really screwed the pooch.